I don't even know what to say. This is absolutely sensory overload this morning. We're at Gold Harbor in South Georgia. You know, you have expectations on what some place is going to be like. This has just exceeded it in every method, every manner you could imagine. It's just plain magical. I'm totally overwhelmed. I don't know, it's just invigorating, um, even a little bit spiritual. I feel very lucky to be here. We're here on South Georgia Island, one of the great wildlife spectacles on Earth. It's just a breathtaking panorama. It's absolutely incredible, and the light this morning has been beautiful. We're here in a place called Salisbury Plain. We're on the north coast of South Georgia Island in the Southern Ocean. This place is the Serengeti of king penguins, and this is the original Earth. The incredible thing is that we can still come to see it. And South Georgia is one of the truly great wildlife spectacles on Earth. And so I, I think that to see the wildness of the original Earth, the sheer abundance of wildlife really just makes me happy. It's just something that changes your life and changes your whole perspective on the world. We're just coming into Port Stanley, a wonderful sheltered harbor at the east end of the Falkland Islands. This is a crazy, far-flung, tiny piece of the last of the British Empire. It's a British set of islands right down in the South Atlantic, barely 300 miles off the coast of Argentina. And it was with that country that there was a conflict in 1982, which has really set the pattern for life here. Everybody talks about life after the conflict. But it's an extraordinary place. It's really rather more like a tiny piece of a Scottish island. Um, they're tough folks here who make a living from sheep out on the wild moors of the Falklands. But we're going to get to visit some of the more far-flung islands on the west, which are still fabulous havens of wildlife. Here we are, landing about 28 guests. We're going to hike up through the tussocks and the vegetation, the higher elevation maybe two miles, three kilometers, and drop down into Gritviken, famous historical whaling site. Now there's a contemporary museum and a church there. It's blustery and we don't care. This is an expedition, this is not a cruise ship. We don't have napkin folding lessons and cha-cha lessons on board the National Geographic Explorer. We have lectures on geology and oceanography and penguin biology, and we hike in the wind, and that's a big adventure. We're here to honor the memory of Ernest Henry Shackleton. It was Raymond Priestley who first said, for scientific leadership, give me Scott. For speed and efficiency of travel, Amundsen. When disaster strikes and all hope is lost, get down on your knees and pray for Shackleton. To the boss. I'm Carl Safina, here with Lindblad Expeditions at West Point Island in the Falkland Islands. And as you can see behind me, not only black-browed albatrosses, but also lots of rock hopper penguins. Albatrosses are the greatest long distance flyers on Earth. They can spend months or even several years at sea. They live for decades and a 50 year old albatross has flown about 4 million miles. That is really just an awesome, awesome fact about these creatures. They are as graceful as angels, but they are as tough as leather. So they have my admiration, and they're also really, really beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's just spectacular. The sea's blue, and the birds are all over the place. It's just something that you can't describe. It has been spectacular from beginning to end, and let alone the wildlife. It's, it's very humbling to come to terms with nature at this level. I'm overwhelmed by this place, but I've been here before, and I came back. This was the reason for my trip, to be back on South Georgia, because I think it's spectacular. It's that childlike sense of wonder. One of the most endangered things we have in the world today, perhaps, is a sense of wonder. You wouldn't be able to imagine it. You can look at pictures in National Geographic. You can't, you have no clue. What, until being here and being among them and being allowed to stay here for hours, 
and just sit and look at them beyond what I could imagine. And I thought I could imagine. <laughs>